Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we do some practice examples on probability density functions. In our previous classes, we already discussed about what's probability density function and the conditions required for probability density functions in our last classes. Please watch the classes and come back here. These are just practice examples for better understanding of the concept. Coming to today's examples, first, the first one, if a random variable has the probability density function f of x, it was given that there is a probability density function f of x. f of x is equal to 2 e power minus 2x if x greater than 0, otherwise 0. Means other than greater than 0, less than or equal to 0, the value is 0. That is the function it has given. So they are trying to ask the questions, find the probabilities between 1 and 3 and the probability values greater than 0.5 value. If x value is greater than 0.5, what is the probability? If, uh, if x value is between 1 and 3, what is the probability? So we clearly discussed in our last class, probability density functions, the area under the curve should be 1, minus infinity to infinity, the area under that curve, so the area under this function should be equal to 1. Those functions can be used as a probability density function. It was already given this is a probability density function means minus infinity to infinity if you substitute in this function the area under that curve should be 1. It will be 1. Now from the given question probability of 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 is equal to means uh, we need to identify the area between the curve between 1 and 3. So, big area is nothing but a probability value we are going to get. These intuitions, these graphical intuitions provided in our previous class. So, 1, 2, 3, f of x, dx. So, integral of 1, 2, 3, 2, e power minus 2x, dx. So, if you take out the 2 outside, e power minus 2x, if you do the integration value, that is the we will get e power minus 2x by minus 2 from 1, 2, 3. We have to substitute when we substitute here minus e power minus 6 minus e power minus 2 take the minus inside e power minus 2 minus e power minus 6 so this is the probability value we are not uh, substituting the values finally we have to substitute the value of e here now coming to the second one probability of x greater than or equal to 0.5 means uh, after x value is greater than 0.5 to infinite that is what we have to consider what is the area bit between this 0.5 and infinite. So, 0.5 to infinite f of x dx. We are not doing the integration again. We showed this integration e power minus 2x by minus 2. We have to substitute 0.5 to infinite. So, minus e power minus infinite minus e power minus 1. e power minus infinite means 1 by e power infinite. e power infinite means infinite. 1 by infinite means 0. So, 0 minus e power minus 1 that is equal to e power minus 1. This is the probability value. Now, coming to the second question, if the probability density of a density function of a random variable is given, they have given a probability density function f of x is equal to k 1 minus x square. If x is between 0 and 1, otherwise 0. For all the remaining values, the probability, uh, the f of x value is 0. That is the function it has given. So they are trying to ask the question find the value of k which k suits this value. So in order to make this function as probability density function the integral of minus infinity to infinite uh, the area under that curve should be 1. You, we use that and we will identify the k value. So in order to do that minus infinity to infinite uh, f of x dx is equal to 1. So, it was given that in the function 0 to 1, this is the equation we have to use for remaining values, it is 0. So, we are avoiding the remaining values and we are taking the value from 0 to 1, k 1 minus x square dx is equal to 1. So, if you take the k outside, 1 minus x square dx integral, this can be written as 1 means x, x square means x cube by 3. Okay. Uh, D, uh, x cube by 3 and integral value means 0 to 1 we have to substitute k 1 minus if you substitute uh, if you substitute in the place of x 0 value the entire term will be 0 so my uh, and if you substitute one value k 1 minus 1 by 3 minus of k 0 minus 0 by 3 so we are eliminating that uh, 0 term 
that's why the final remaining is k 1 minus 1 by 3 equal to 1 k is equal to 3 by 2 so this is how we will use this continuous prob in order to find the probability values in our distribution we will go with this integration method that is the point you have to understand from these examples hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you